This cluster of sweet and tender coconut called goss is a treat to the eyes and oh so delicious. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna take one tender coconut, break it into half, take out that tender flesh from inside, and sometimes you'll find that there's a little brown stuck on from the shell. You're gonna take a knife and gently remove that, and then cut the flesh into strips. And if you're lucky, you can get them pre-prepped in a bottle in the store. To prevent the tender coconut strips from drying out, I immerse them in a bowl of water. And now since we are ready to start, let's drain out the water and let's add it to a skillet. To sweeten it up and help it bind, we're going to go in with 3 4 cup of white granulated sugar. And to that we're going to add quarter cup of water, a pinch of salt and 2 teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Normally I would add a clear vanilla essence so that the coconut stays white, but today we're going to be making nest out of these. So that little brown tint is going to be perfect. Now let's go over to the stove and bring this delightful treat together. Now we're going to turn our stove to medium high and we're going to give this a stir. And we're going to keep stirring and cooking it till the sugar melts and thickens and binds the coconut strips together. This brings back such fond memories of my childhood when my grandma used to make this and make us cut the paper on which she would put it to set. Since we've used just one coconut, this is going to come together very quickly. You'll find that the coconut strips are now cooked and turning translucent. Now all we need to wait for is for the sugar syrup to thicken and bind it all together. And I always like to use a non-stick pan when doing this so that the sugar does not stick and burn in the pan. Okay, this is looking good. Now let's take it off the heat and start forming the gauze. I've cut the papers into circles because we want to create nest. And I'm going to quickly work and create the nest. You're going to put down some of the coconut and then just spread it around in the shape of a nest. It actually gets its name because it looks like spider webs or clusters. But we are making an Easter treat so we are going to shape it in the form of nest. Now that they've all set, let's decorate them for Easter. I've got these wooden coasters which resemble a bark of a tree. And we're going to take each of them and place them on a coaster. And to finish it off, we're going to place some Easter eggs inside the nest. And you can go in for marzipan easter eggs, chocolate easter eggs, whatever you like. Look at that. And now it's time for us to give the gauze a taste. It looks so beautiful, but I'm going to pick on it. I'm just going to take out a small bit from the side. Mmm. Wow, that was really delicious. Just like my grandma used to make it. And I'm sure if you make this for Easter, all your guests are going to be absolutely impressed. So go ahead, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.